Hey guys, Sushi Kawaza here, and welcome to number 95 of our live streams. So, thanks to everyone for joining us. So, yes, we're starting doing our weekly live streams, maybe sometimes at the weekend if I'm doing a bit of power leveling. So, yeah, if you like my streams, you like my videos, make sure you're subscribed and you'll get notifications that every time I do a stream, you'll get notifications of all the exclusives that I do and generally anything that I put out, really. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe, guys. We're still pushing for that 2,000 subscribers. So, yeah, hit that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you put notifications on to make sure that uh, you don't miss another video. So, yeah, today we're going to talk about uh, Lightspeed. And uh, I am Bison, and uh, the cons out there will be glad to know that I've had a Decepticon team leveled up. Uh, so we can show a bit of Iron Bison, so we'll do that first as well. We'll uh, go through the showroom, we'll show you the showroom. But uh, I do want to stress something that normally by now the bots done, dusted, my confident. Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I've not had much input in this bot, so to speak. I did at the start, but then towards the end I haven't. And I've just put my last bit of input in. I still think there's a bit of work maybe to do on him. I'm not too sure it's basically it will do or not, but there's still time to do it. But yeah, I still think it needs a bit of work, but we can show you the uh, the idea behind it. We go, we go through the sort of reasoning behind it that we started talking about this bot, because this bot was pretty much designed by uh, the play testers from scratch, so to speak. So yeah, talk about that. Uh, a quick update on Omega Supreme. Uh, again, I can't really show you the uh, the abilities yet, but uh, yeah, we're kind of talk about Omega Supreme. And uh, we're gonna have a look at Trenchfoot. I know I missed it last week, uh, but yeah, we can have a look at Trenchfoot and uh, pop some crystals as well on the uh, normal live server. So, yeah, action packed live stream. So, first of all, as we always do, we've got to say some hellos. So, let's see, what we've got. So we've got Ender, who's first in the chat. Welcome. We've got Blastwave, Mario Gamer, Mario Gamer, Luigi Gamer. I, I presume everyone gets that reference. <laughs> Grind Time, how's it going, brother? If you're not seeing Grind Time's channel yet, go and check it out, guys. Uh, we've got Stuck in Beta, who's a regular in our uh, Discord server. Welcome. We've got Wreck and Rule. And we've got Sharks here, who's one of our mods. We've got a good friend of mine, Laser Claw. Uh, we've got DC as well. So, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. A few familiar faces, a couple of new faces, and uh, Blue Grimlock as well. Welcome, 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 welcome. So, first, what we're going to do is uh, I get criticized a bit for not showing Decepticons. So, we're going to do that first this time around. We're going to go to Iron Bison first. And before Sucking Bates says it, no, I'm not stalling. I just thought that uh, I would show him first. And uh, don't let me down now, Spacey, because last time I did this, they said they'd given me, and they hadn't. And... Have they done it again? Don't tell me they've done it again. That's... Wow. They've done it again to me. I really need to start double-checking this now, but... I'm not going to lie, that's really annoying because I had to ask for him. But sorry, guys. All upon in the world. No, I am Bison. It's quite annoying because I actually asked for all my bots to be leveled up. And they've actually leveled quite a few bots up. But uh, yeah, it's a bit weird. It's a bit strange because they told me even the bots wanted leveling up. They haven't leveled up. So unless they leveled some random person's because <laughs> it ain't my global account, that's for sure. But uh, who's to know? Yeah, I'll take it up with the apes and uh, I might do an update on the Discord server. So, but we can have a look at Lightspeed. So I do apologize about Iron Bison. Proper noobish, but I apologize. Uh, Mitchell, Prime 45, Grand Galvatron, how's it going? So, we've got live speed. So, uh, me and I, Jake, was uh, looking at him uh, early on today. And um, 
<clears throat> he said in bot mode, it weren't too impressed, but the car mode, it's um, very, 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 very like the combiner war toy. Uh, pretty much exact, to be fair. They've done a really good job of the uh, the vehicle mode. So, yeah, quite impressive. The robot mode, I'm not too sure. Without getting the toy out, it looks a bit off, maybe, but it looks okay. It looks all right. Let's be honest, when you're using it in battle, you hardly see this that much. So it's by the by, really. But yeah, cool. Pretty good. Uh, whoops. So we'll have a look at his ability. <clears throat> and I'll talk about the idea of it. And someone who's in the chat might actually recognize it. So, light speed ability. So, this is obviously a 61. I'm going to turn the chat off the screen for a second. So, 61.10. So, it says, rush into combat. Uh, I'm back so fast that you can damage and slow down targets on your way. 70% speed reduction for 9.5 seconds and deals 2,500 damage to the final target. So, the idea behind this bot is when... Uh, Space 8 first come out. They said, listen, we want to make an ability. We're not too sure I was going to go yet. So we want you guys to sort of come up with it yourselves. So the idea is beyond, beyond, about speed. We want something to do with speed. So uh, I'll be honest with you at first. I thought it was Blur coming to the game. And then very quickly, a few of the uh, playtesters pointed out that light speed was due to the game. I was like, all right, fair enough. Yeah, it's probably light speed. But yeah, a fast ability. So... I did notice in my Discord server that uh, someone had mentioned about Blur having an ability where he does a donut, where he does a big donut and comes back. So I suggest that's a space save. So I said, what about a bot that travels a distance, like Swoop, say, does damage in a big circle, does a big donut, and then travels back? And that's the big distance difference because a lot of the bot abilities, they go somewhere, do damage, and then stay there. Whereas more like a jet, where a jet, will do their damage and return to point of origin. I was like, we haven't got any ground bots, really, that rush out, do damage, and rush back. So then that sort of started the ball rolling, and then we started sort of elaborating on that. But then Space Ape said that they they didn't want a, um, a damage bot. They wanted something around support. And uh, yes, Grand Galvatron, you are right. It was your comment. You are correct. So I just want to stress as well there that people put their uh, ideas in the Discord server. And I do read them ideas. You know, if a good idea is feasible and it comes up, then I will suggest it. You know, and I will go through it with the apes. It depends if it's a good idea, whether I think it's doable. But yeah, it was a good idea. Uh, again, I thought it'd be an idea for Blur. I thought it's a good idea for Blur. But again, it just fitted in with light speed. So... They said that they didn't want damage. So we're like, okay, so we need to make it more around a support bot, so to speak. So they took the damage out of it completely and just said, this is support. We'll give them slow down, 70%. So we sort of argued a bit that he needed a bit more damage. So they gave him more damage, more damage to the final target. Even though it's a support bot, he needs something. And Space Ape gave them all these. And like I said, I'll be honest with you, I didn't really get to test him till today. It's been a manic week in work. And I tested him today, and I just think it lacks something. I just think it lacks a bit of oomph. Now, I'll show you the ability anyway, and then you can get the idea. So what we're going to do as well, guys, we're not going to do too much testing today. So I don't want people throwing in the chat going, can you test it with this bot? Can you test it with that bot? I don't mind maybe doing that at weekend, which I'm going to be doing another stream maybe on Sunday. Uh, but I don't do too much today because I don't I don't want to do it yet while the bot is still up for maybe a slight change. And I just want to emphasize that. But you can get an idea of the ability. I can't do too much. But yeah. So what we'll do is put them over here. And I'm going to do the ability first time in normal speed. But you want to watch carefully because it is fast. Are you ready? There you go. 
That was it. That's how fast it was. But it gets really good when you slow it down. So if you're watching now. So this is in super slow motion, don't forget. This is when you, you press the ability to super slow it down. You see the rest of the bots going super slow. Then light speed, literally. Rushes, big circle, and back super quick. So it is super, super quick. Yeah, exactly. All you see is... In, you don't see much else. And then you see him just come back again. Very, very quick. And I think that is super cool. I think the, the, the ability itself, as in the visuals, is awesome. There's nothing real like it in the game. You can see it's really quick. And time at normal speed... Give you an idea. And there we go. Bang. That's how fast it is. So, like I said, in terms of the idea behind it, super quick. I think it's just really cool. But the problem being is if we still had a meta of uh, clustered bases, this bot would be really good because you've got to think that. 70 slowdown reduces its DPS by 70%. Granted, it's only for nine and a half seconds, though. So it's not considerable. But nine and a half seconds, those defenses pretty much end up being like a HQ 12 or 13 defense. But again, only for nine seconds. It is quite cheap. Uh, I think it was, uh, was it three plus two? I think it was. We can only go again. But yes, yeah, so it is really good to use, but I just don't think it's quite effective enough in the current meta. Like I said, if you had clustered bases, brilliant. I would I would use this bot definitely against clustered bases. But people are people are spacing defenses out a huge amounts, so it's really restrictive. And Vincent said it seems worse than streetwise, and you know what. In its current state, it probably is. But I just want to stress again that this will probably change. I'm hoping it will change tomorrow and we'll give it a bit more. I'm going to really push it tomorrow and say, listen, this bot needs something else. Because I think it's really awful that we've got quite a really cool visual effect for this bot that you're not going to see on any other bot or we haven't. And I think that side of it is really impressive. It's something new. The idea behind it is new. The visuals is new. And it's let down by a, a, a lack of oomph, is what I'm going to call it. You just need something. But so, if you've got any ideas, then hit me up in Discord server and I can pass it on to the apes tomorrow. But we don't want to increase damage. It's not a damage bot. We don't want to increase damage to the final target. It can generally two shot targets at a right level. So, you can two shot a beam laser, but three plus two for five points. Yeah, okay. But then 7 plus 9, 16 ability points then for a beam laser is quite, you know, quite ridiculous, really. Um, Vincent, yeah, we talked about stun. Uh, I think we suggested it, and I don't think the apes were too impressed. But, uh, yeah, stun is a possibility. I think the, what they wanted was, I think they wanted the fact that because he's fast, it slows them down. But then I think someone suggested that maybe confusing them would be better. So they sort of hack them and they sort of attack each other. Maybe that's an option, maybe. But they, they really don't want to give it damage. That's the idea. Do we extend the time of it? So you guys have got not you guys have got a chance here to really have an input in this bot and me sort of uh, pass it on. So do we increase the time of it? You know, Chromia has 30 seconds. Tracks 15, 16, 17, 18 seconds. So is nine and a half seconds for a support bot just not enough nowadays? So, yeah. Yeah, I agree that nine seconds is probably not enough if you're going to slow targets down. But again, the problem is, is that you, because all the defences are spaced out, uh, all those, uh, that run, that, that sort of run that it does back and forwards, he only passes two or three defences. And by the time you get to those defences, it's worn out. So, personally, I'd like to see it maybe even double the time. I would really extend the time of it. 
I really would. So, yeah, like I said, I don't want to, don't want everyone to start going, oh my God, this bot is awful. Because like I said, I still think there's room for uh, improvement on it. We'll see more towards the weekend. I'll update people in Discord server as more updates come along for it. And hopefully, yeah, they can just improve a bit. But I'm, personally, I'm really impressed with the visuals. I like the idea behind it. It's different than what we've already got. There's no ground bots really that do damage long range like that and return back to where they originated. It's something a bit fresh. But uh, yeah, I agree. It sort of does need something else. But we'll check on the um we will check on the uh the cost of it as well. Uh but don't forget, I'm gonna talk about Omega Supreme, but I cannot show him yet. Next week's stream, probably I'll be able to show him in all his glory. But for now, all I can do really is talk about uh the test server so to speak and yeah See, that's the thing though vincent is that the aoe they won't give it more damage so if it's i suggest if you think if you mean this the slowdown needs a wider uh birth then i did suggest that already to, to, to fair to make it more like star saver-ish so um yeah so let's have a look make sure it is three plus two don't want to call myself a liar So just to show you as well, so beam laser there. We hit the beam laser once. Bang, there we go. Super quick. We hit the beam laser twice. Beam laser down. You can two shot beam lasers. Something else to note that uh, at 6110, he can one shot uh billbots. So you know, it does have his uses. But do you really want to use that sort of cost? For removing bill bots, you know, at three ability points, that's pretty cheap. At five, seven, nine, maybe not. Do we make it just a flat three? Three ability points. Will that make it overpowered? So there's lots of questions still. But, um, yeah. Three plus two. Not too expensive. It is nice and cheap. But just needs a bit more. That's the idea. But, yeah, uh, I'm confident that hopefully, but well, I say confident, I hope space safe by tomorrow. Have another look at it, maybe make some last minute changes in terms of the uh the ability, even though it's out in the newsletter. I still think it's something a bit extra. Uh, I think if this bot is released in its current state, then it's going to be poorly accepted by most people. So a bit of a buff, definitely. Like I said, we'll cover it more weekend by weekend. It's out, out by then, we'll have a definite answer. Um, and I can give you guys a lowdown on exactly what it does, but uh, yeah, definitely a slight improvement. So in terms of Omega Supreme, so I'll be honest with you, we haven't tested him this last week. Last last this last week, they did a bit weird. They give us the idea behind light speed first, and they wanted to get that idea in. Then we put that idea in. Then we went on to testing Omega Supreme. Then we went back to light speed. So it's been a bit bit weird, a bit back and forth with this testing. Uh, but Omega Supreme, uh, we started off where his two star ability was okay. But uh, it needed a bit of a buff. So we've, we've, we've said that, listen, the two-star ability needs a buff. And uh, the two-star ability is pretty good. Don't forget, though, it's a two-star ability. It's a two-star combiner. So don't be expecting a two-star combiner to be able to one-shot a maxed-out HQ-17 beam laser or do something like that. It's just a good effect that you can use no matter what level you are. So I just want to stress that, that the two-star ability, you could use that if you are HQ-17, you are HQ-12. Definitely. Uh, we buffed it a bit more. We said it needs a bit more of a time on it. Uh, they've done that, to be fair to them, and they've increased it. So the two-star ability is pretty good. Um, the three-star ability is okay as well. It's not bad. It's a not bad ability. It works well. It's very similar to what other combiners have got. So nothing fresh and new. Um... The four-star ability is really something else. You you really want this combiner as a four-star. I just want to put that out there. You really do. It's going to make a huge amount of difference. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say it maybe is the best combiner. It probably is better than Defensor. I probably. Over all three abilities, just a four-star, definitely. So, yeah. Um, and 
The five star ability is really good as well. Just on the extra. Um, personally, we were looking at maybe getting the cost of a five star ability reduced, but Space Ape were like, listen, this is a five star combiner. You are not going to get this cheap. So be prepared, guys. The five star is not going to be easy to get. The two star will be super easy to get. The three star, I think most people get. The four star, we've not been told the economics behind getting it because we know there's going to be parts that you have to get to get the four star, which might be an event, might be Shanix. Who knows? So for now, I would advise everyone to collect Shanix. Keep your Shanix just in case. I've got about 10k up to now. Everyone knows that I don't really save Shanix. So 10k for me is quite a lot. Save your Shanix up. Who's to know? We just don't know what they've got planned yet. And we really don't. We were just given all the parts, going, there you go, have the five-star, basically. We didn't have to go and collect the parts. So we're, it's still, we still don't even know yet how them parts are going to get collected. So, yeah, you might not need Shanix. They might just be in events. They might not. Who's to know? You might be part of leaderboard events. Who knows? No one knows. But, yeah. But the, the five-star is something else, but it's going to be a long-term goal, guys. Don't be expecting. Even if you're a top player in the game, Unless you're very, very top, you're not going to get this five-star combiner too quick. Even the top guys were saying, this is really expensive to get. Just out there. Uh, I just did know uh, see, uh, my friend Steve asked, can he put on defense? Uh, yeah, it's just the same as any other combiner. The uh, only difference is, obviously, that is a two-star and a five-star version. And the only other difference is that you upgrade him by normal combiner spark, but there's parts to get. There's going to be parts that you need to obtain. So you will get to... So imagine you are trying to level a level 60 bot, but you had no Z energy on. You are stuck there until you get the specific resource, this part or whatever it is. And once you get that, then you can upgrade them. So those will come. Um, Wood Popcorns, that's who's the best combiner. For me, personally right now, I reckon Defensor. Um, personal preference. Then Victorian. And to be honest with you, I'd go backwards. I would literally go, apart from maybe Superior, I'd say Defensor, then Victorion, then um, Volcanicus, then maybe Superior and Optus Maximus. But both of those are really quite poor. And let's be honest, they need a buff. We've, we've, we've said to death to space that they need a buff. So I'm hoping they do. And personally, I think Omega Supreme is a step in the right direction towards... Maybe better than Defensor, but definitely equal. Definitely equal to. Maybe better. So, yeah. Really good. Uh, again, if you've got any questions now, guys, then uh, put them in the chat. Um, I'll do my best to uh, answer them. Um, someone asked a question earlier about five stars. I'm trying to find it now. Um, duh, 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 duh. Let me find this question about five stars. Someone asked me, I can't remember now. Some questions about trench foot. We are going to go over trench foot as well, don't forget. So, um, yeah, once we get to the trench foot, you can uh, ask any questions there. I'm just going to find this uh, five star question. Bear with me. Uh, so, DC has asked, How long did it take to get my first five star? Um, I'll be honest, don't forget back in the day. It was really hard to get four-star shards, really hard to get five-stars. Four-stars weren't in free crystals. Events were generally six, 700 shards per event. Uh, we didn't have five-star events, really, or very, very rare. So uh, it took me a good nine months to get a five-star, maybe a year to get a five-star. Um, and my first five-star was Skyburst. So, yeah, uh, it took me quite a while. But uh, they're a lot easier to get now. Uh, we'll do a crystal update soon as well. But uh, Brad Chandler about three grand. No, definitely not that. <laughs> but yeah, it did take me a good uh, nine months. Yeah. Uh, and same reckon rule. There's a couple of combiners that I want to agree. So I'll just point something out that I've noticed. So um, Volcanicus. Oops. Didn't see that. No screenshots allowed. <laughs> so Volcanicus can uh, generally uh, do damage to build bots. And um, 
he can norm around level 15, 16, he can um take out build bots with his uh four star ability. But you do need him to a, a certain level. I think it's around 14, 15. And he can take out build bots. So it's good to know that if you level Volcanicus up, he can get to level 14, 15. But at the minute, I'm saving all my spark for Omega Supreme. I think I've got enough spark to get Omega Supreme to around level 13, 14. So, yeah. Uh, Jason Rowley has asked, is there any um, any idea when Comptron will arrive? Well, we haven't got the parts yet. We're still missing a few parts. Um, top of my head, I think it's two parts. I think I'm missing. So, yeah, you're probably looking at a few months yet, I think. Uh, they're solely focused on Omega Supreme right now. They're slowly bringing the bots out. But uh, I think you can probably say three to four months, maybe October time, uh, we can expect um, we can expect a few different, um, a few more bots as well. I don't think it'd be solely just um, bots of Computron and bots of like eyes as well. I think there'll be generally other bots thrown in there as well. So yeah, a good three or four months, I think, before we uh, before we get the uh, the new combiners. Definitely. Uh, any news on the five star batch? Sadly, not. There's a uh, there's no uh, news on the five star batch yet. Um, nothing at all. I'm still up in the air. I'm still saving for it. I'm still waiting for it. And. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting. Like I said, we'll do a crystal update in a minute. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at it. So uh, looking at Trenchfoot. So I'll be honest with you, Trenchfoot got a lot of stick when uh, it came out. And again, I didn't do much testing of Trenchfoot. And when he first came out, I was, um, I wasn't too impressed myself. But then as I talked to other people that were testing, they were going, we'll try this and try that. So first of all, what you've got to think is that Trench foot does two more, two times damage to targets under. So what you want to do is you want to put it on a bot with high DPS. Don't forget, this bot does not need to have these effects for it to work, but just in the team with that bot. So for argument's sake, so uh, Trench foot does double damage against targets under. So fire, so slog, uh, snarl, uh, paramagna. So, even Goldfire. But don't forget, you don't have to have trench foot on them bots. I just want to emphasize that because someone messaged me and said, well, you can't ever put a trench foot on some of them bots. I'm like, no. But what you can do is you can have trench foot on a bot in a team with those bots. And once you activate Snarl's ability, say, then trench foot, the bot that trench foot has, if you put on a high DPS bot, that bot will do double the damage to those defences. So when I say trench foot with a bot, I don't mean you have to equip it. I just mean it works well with it. So yeah, uh, fire, uh, bots with fire. So yeah, definitely. But close range as well. Lance of Sunstreaker is maybe too far to take advantage of it. Because once you use Sunstreaker's ability, Sunstreaker's ability, sorry, not Sunstreaker, Sunstreaker's ability is too far away for a bot to really take advantage. Um, same with gold fire to a degree. So although it'd work with Goldfire, I wouldn't really say it'd be great with Goldfire and work well. Uh, also works with Acid. The only Acid bot I can really think of is Skydive. And Skydive's ability is too long range to really use a trench foot. So that makes me think that we might get some Acid abilities coming into the game all the time. We're getting more slowdown abilities to sort of couple with bots like that. So maybe we'll get some more acid abilities coming up. So yeah. So then we've got EMP. We've also got um, EMP effects. So that works amazing with um, Chromia because in terms of Chromia, the um, her stun is close range. Well, it can be pretty much for any reason. So it can be close range. So using her ability with trench foot is a great fix. Really good. So a really good bot. So not just put it on 
uh, Chromia, which I've done, but also to work with Ability as well. So it's a good fit for Chromia. Um, yeah, again, yeah, Bumblebee as well. Rust Dust, because, because they have close range abilities, but just make sure you are using Rust Dust close range because she has a good cast range on her, really. But yeah, all good bots as well. Uh, and then it also does it with speed reduction. So it's going to work well with light speed. Work well with... Um, what's it called? Uh, Streetwise. I forgot his name then. Works well with Streetwise as well. Uh, so yeah, any kind of um, speed reduction. And then you've got uh, Glass Gas as well. So the likes of, obviously, Cliff Jumper and uh, the likes of uh, maybe Cliff Jumper, depending on where you use ability. But yeah, bots uh, around them sort of thing. So out of all those, definitely Bumblebee, definitely Chromia, definitely Bot, definitely Snarl. Working with them bots uh, works really well. And um, double damage. So yeah, uh, not not maybe not as versatile as some of the other combat bots, but uh, definitely a good combat bot nonetheless, and definitely worth having in your team with double damage, without a doubt. But yeah, uh, I just got four star Octone last week. Is it worth leveling, put the ability up. Uh, Octone is Sandstorm, I believe. Is that right? I think so, yeah. Uh, I'll level my five-star Sandstorm. It's really good. Just slightly expensive. Um, it's, I would say if you're running a team where you lose or you use a lot of ability points quite quick uh, or you run out of ability points, then no, because it's quite costly. Eight ability points. But for what you do get, if you have two healers and you're struggling with DPS and you want to maybe lose a healer, then yeah. Octone or Sandstorm is definitely an option because of the amount of healing that it gives is ridiculous. I mean, um, looking at my common test server is 6310 and he gives 7,400 healing. 7,400. So that's like a third of Rook's health back again. Pretty much. Gunner's full health. Would it? Does that work? Oops. So, yeah. You know, a majority of are going to tell them all back to full health again. So, very good bot, but slightly expensive. Uh, a few of us have said in the test server that he maybe needs a bit of a cost reduction. Uh, that would help a lot. Uh, but, yeah. Still a decent bot. Cool. Okay. Let's go on to the uh, normal server now. Well, I'm just going to put it out there. I know there's people saying that they got a screenshot of Omega Supreme, if it was. I'm just going to put it out there that if screenshots do get saved around, chances are that I can get done for that, really, and maybe lose access to the test server. So I advise you not to. I advise you not to share it because it's going to get me in trouble. But obviously, I can't stop it really now. It's gone and dusted. But, yeah, if you don't want to see any more exclusives, then, yeah. Just going to put it out there. Glass mine is not on the global version. Really? Hmm. We'll check on that because it was on the test server. I know, I know we, there was a debate about it whether it should be or not, and whether it was too overpowered. So maybe they took it out, to be fair. Okay. So we've got an update. So we've reached uh, player level 86, finally. So we've got some four-star shards. So that means we've got a four-star crystal. We're close to another four-star. We've got another crystal here for some reason. Oh, yeah. Free crystal. We'll claim that as well. And um, we'll claim the Decepticon one. 
Even though the Septicum ones are decent, even though the Icon Crystals. Some decent ones. We've got so well, a crystal update, so to speak. So we are up to 14,045 shards. So 955 shards short. We've got a five, we've got a four-star crystal. And uh, we've also got maybe another four-star tonight if we can get enough shards. And then don't forget every five star that you pull, you get a hundred and eighty-five star shard as an achievement. So plus 360, we're at um, 14,400 shards. So I'm 600 shards. Before we pull any crystals now, we're 600 shards off um, three five stars. Waiting for the new batch. Part of me wants a later. Part of me wants a ratchet. Part of me doesn't want one either. So I'm still sort of undecided, but I am going to pull at least one from the new batch without a doubt. Definitely. Uh, nearly 3,000 shards now towards a combat chip. So I reckon in a couple of more months, we might have a five-star combat. Um, personally, Flak or Night Stalker or Top Shot. Definitely those three. Definitely would like one of those three. Okay. Let's uh, pop some crystals then. We'll start with the, the which ones first. Jump Steam Crystals. Oh, good three stars. Start off with. If we can get quite a few three stars, I'll have two four star crystals. To... Sandstorm, two star. Reckon Rule pulled four star flak yesterday. Congratulations. Definitely, uh, if not the best uh, combat bot in the game. Definitely one of the best. I think the good thing about Flak is that he changes how the bot actually works. It's not just an increase in DPS or something like that. It actually changes completely how the bot works. That's the big pulling power of Flak. Because let's be honest, if they just made Flak like Skyburst, people would maybe just use Skyburst still. Two star jump stream. Three star jump stream. So, yeah, some nice three star shards. We'll hit the sludge crystals next. Two star sandstorm. I do generally have good luck with sludge crystals for some weird reason. I say that now. Watch this. All two stars, but <laughs> I generally do, actually. Weird as it sounds. I just remember getting sludge crystals and pulling two four stars out of the same batch. Might have been a one-off, but... <laughs> Optimus Primal. Ah, some more three-star shards. That's good. Two-star Firefly. Two-star Warpath. So, yeah, Sludge Crystals are not good to me at all. Well, I've got a three-star at least. So we're up to now then. So we've got a three-star crystal. Chances are we're gonna have a four star. I need two more three stars. There's three star wheelchair. Any good calls? Self-repair, not really. Hot spot. Can we get a four star hot spot with a G1 core? Don't really use a four star, but uh it'd still be nice to have for him. I think I've got a silver one right now. So, yeah, we've got another three star. Side swipe. Two star hotspot. Three star hotspot with a G1 core. Like the uh, the gold G1 core, but <coughs> can't have it all your own way. 
We've got Strafe. And we do have another four-star crystal to open as well. So there we go. There's two to open. Can we get a duplicate rook? Four-star. Boom! With a nice four-star mixture. Yay! 180 shards in the bank. Looking good. Chances I won't get a second one, but uh, pleased with that. Storm Clash. Got first aid. Iron Hide, two star. Perceptor. Streetwise, two star. Shorter Paths Prime, as Engineer Heist calls him. Oh, everyone's favorite, Goldfire. Pipes and two star. Cosmos, two star. I'm really surprised I'm not getting any new bots. I'm not going to lie. It's quite bizarre. Every time you get close to a five star, you generally find you get new bots. But hey, two star go fire. I'm not complaining. I want the shards. Just a bit weird, that's all. Two star cliff jumper. Just three crystals left. Open a couple of four stars. Got two star huffer. And another gold fire. Two star. And last crystal. Doubtful, but you never know. Hot spot. Two star. So we got some more four star crystals to open as well. So duplicate star saver. Wow. A ray booster. Could do with a G metal core actually. And then we've got a four star jazz. I've already got his G1 core though. Point defense B. Already got that as well, but yeah. So let's have a look where we're up to. Quick update. So 14,585 plus the 360. So we are about 80 shards short. So basically, one more four star dupe, and we have got three five star crystals. A shark's the same part of the bundle, but I don't need to. You know, we don't forget we've got VIP crystals coming. End of this month, we've got an event with shards this month. We're probably going to get another event for shards. Uh, we've got crystals and prem from wars. So to get one, one more four-star dupe, chances are I'll get that before the next five-star patch comes out. And even if we don't, then I will buy a bundle. There's no point buying a bundle today. There's no rush. We're pretty much there now. One more four-star dupe and we're there. Pretty pleased, really. Pretty cool. So, yeah, so generally what I'm going to be doing is, um, so I've got this week I'm going to be working on. So, looking at my team. So, I've been working a lot with a general uh, Invincible Rush team. So, Red Alert is a big part of that. He's at 57. Um, really good bot. And... I think I'm going to work Primal. I think it needs to get up to 58. I think somewhere around there. So I'm working on Primal weekend. And uh, yeah, I have a general uh, double with him. Um, and then we've got Rodimus Prime, uh, who's out the cooker. Uh, just in time for the event. So um, we'll also get uh, him up a few levels as well. Uh, Sharks is asked what I think of the new, the new effects. See what? Give me a second to get the uh, the newsletter up. We'll look at the newsletter. We'll go through the event and we'll uh, have a look at the new effects. Back in one second.
Okay, so here we are back again. So uh, looking at this week's uh, newsletter, so we get uh, 100 Pathfinder Crystals. So that's uh, 100 chances to get Lightspeed or Iron Bison. Uh, 100,000 Spark, which is not to be sniffed at. And 50,000 Combat Spark. So a bit strange that there's no Combiner Spark in there. But yeah, maybe the uh, the uh, view of things to come, really, with Mega Supreme coming out. And uh, 20,000 uh, Prem Shards. So 20,000 uh, Prem Shards is 20 Prems. So a big update from last event, which gave like three Prems. I did say to Space Ape, that's pretty ridiculous, just giving three Prems out. But yeah, so a welcome change to that. Super XP. So yep, yeah, we'll be going all out without a doubt. Uh, no more battle zones, no more points. So, uh, yeah, premium shards, combat sparks, back and pathfinder crystals. So, out of those 100 crystals, if you complete the event, so it is uh, a million point event, so you will need an average of is it 25,000 points per player. So, it is a lot to ask, and you got a hundred chances at light speed, so it is well worth it. Uh, but out of those 100 crystals, you've only got a 10% chance. So don't forget, guys, that if you um, get 50 crystals, chances are you'll pull five light speeds. One of them might be the four star, one of them might not. Um, but yeah, 10% chance. Uh, but then you've got a 30% chance of four star shards. So a third of those, so you should get 30 of those. So that's 1,500 four star shards you should get roughly. So 1,500 four-star shards is still good. That puts me really close to another four-star. So within touching distance, really. 30% um, for 100 three-star shards. So 30 times crystals, that's 3,000 three-star shards. So you'll get a three-star crystal and then half one. So yeah, I'll also get, that means two three-star crystals. So another 180 shards. So I've got about 1,700 four-star shards, not even including the Prems. So, 30 times 200 is uh, 6 prems as well. So, 26 prems in total. Each. Thereabouts, guys. Don't bet on that. It's not guaranteed. But, uh, yeah, thereabouts. So, they've said, this time we've done things a bit different when designing the ability. We shared details of the barrels with our group of playtesters, and they asked them, what type of ability we should create for the new box. So, yeah, as you've seen earlier, that was uh, generally it, but I still think there's a bit of room for improvement. So, Prime League effects come into play, new effects uh, for those that fight in Prime League. Uh, come Thursday, these effects will come into play. Just keep in mind, guys, that these effects could change mid-war. If you do the first three bases, shut your game down and go to bed, you could wake up the next day to a whole new Prime League effects for base four and five. So keep that in mind. Try and get your war attacks in either before the update or plan it for after. Unless you want to try both. It's up to you. But yeah, just keep that in mind that it can change mid-war. So Prime League effect is a 50% increase of laser turret range. So um, similar to cannons. And then missile launches set targets on fire for seven seconds. Fire damage is equivalent to the building DPS. So, in terms of the planning effects, they seem very easy. Very easy. 50% uh, increase of laser turret range. Um, one of the play testers tested it on his uh, air turret. So, equipping an anti air core to a laser turret. And it didn't make much difference, to be honest with you. It didn't help much. Uh, I still think that anti-air defences need buffing uh, to give people an option to defend against jets. This is coming from someone that's leveled the jet all the way from level 30-odd to 60. But I'm a big believer in choice. Um, big, I'm a big believer in giving people an option on how they want to defend. And uh, For now, death pulse scores are useless. They need a use in the game. And anti-air cores are also useless. So those two cores definitely need some sort of improvement, without a doubt. Uh, a missile launch is setting targets on fire. Nowhere near as bad as glass gas. That was ridiculous. 
good ridiculous because it made you really plan your attacks out well. But yeah, nothing near close to what the glass gas was. So a lot easier Prime League effects. So if you were one of the alliances that were not sure about going for Prime League it was too hard, I, we understood your frustrations and it caused a massive debate in the playtest chat, a huge debate about it. It went on for days. But uh, yeah, I was kind of glad they made it easy for some people. But they generally switched it round because now the um, hard effects uh, have the 10% health for all buildings, 15% uh, DPS increase for defense buildings, um, build bots have extra health and heal. So they took the build bots out of the Prime League effects and put it into the hard mode. Um, and they've also increased the firing speed for beam laser buildings. So that's an interesting one. I've not tested the beam lasers yet, to be honest with you. I had a quick look at it today. Uh, but the beam laser is an interesting one because if you use minions, then maybe the minions will go down quicker. Uh, but if you use jets, if you use jets against hard mode, I'll be honest with you, nothing much has changed. It's still 10%. You'll still be able to take them out. Billbots still heal. So that that's not changed really if you went hard mode in Prime League before that. And the fact that the beam laser have increased their. Uh, firing speed, but well, Jets will still take them out and one-shot them and get rid of them anyway. So, yeah, not much. If you went hard mode on Prime League before this, I don't think much has really changed. But what if they introduced those hard battle effects into Cybertron? That makes it hard. And I think that that's where they're going to be going with it. I think eventually they'll bring hard mode into Cybertron, but it won't be coupled with the Prime League effect. So they've made Prime League, effect, Prime League easier for the masses, and I agree with that, and made hard mode uh, similar to what it was before. So, uh, yeah, it's a welcome change. It's a good change. And uh, I do want to give uh, Steve a shout-out uh, because it's Lions. Absolutely kicked our butt in war yesterday. Uh, I could not get past, past Commander's base. It was crazy. Crazy hard. Um, yeah, I'm being a bit short on time with work issues. Wasn't the best either. But, um, yeah. Good war against some um, top guys. Sharksy has spawned. <laughs> So if anyone's got any more questions, they want to see anything, want me to test anything for them, they can put it in chat. I'm going to do a few attacks with my uh, three teams, see how they go. Um, I don't think we did, Steve. <laughs> we did quite poor. We generally hit about 10k in Prime League, but I'm not going to lie, your bases were really hard in war. Really hard. Really well set out bases, really well designed. and Yeah, normally you can find some some niche to sort of see, right, well, I can take advantage of that. But, uh, yeah, they were really good base designs. Really good. So. Sharks here. Listen, we know this. Sharticons are banned from Prime League. I've put that out there. Any any Sharticon suggestion in my chat means you get banned. Straight up ban. No shotguns. Hashtag no shotguns. That is my new hashtag. Hate shotguns with a passion. <laughs> okay, so we generally got our walk team. We'll go with that first. We'll go in. Uh... Should we go prime? Prime zone. Let's go for prime zone. We haven't got a combiner, which is worrying. Just realize that. But hey. What's the worst that can happen? We can lose. Zone 15, I'd be pretty confident. But maybe not against the combiner. Depends if the combiner's active, to be fair. What about Krem Zeeks? Jason's asked. Uh, yeah. Be a decent idea to put Krem Zeeks on things, maybe. You could maybe put Krem Zeeks on a particular, particular defense and say when you've destroyed a cannon, then a Kremzeek jumps onto your bots. So then you wouldn't want to jump... 
you wouldn't want to kill too many cannons at once, maybe. But hey, it's all ideas. You never know. Uh, so, Gem of this base, really poor build bot placement. Um, I get them maybe putting them around the outpost box to uh, heal them, but um, we can soon beat that. Their health is 2448, and Rook's um, Hollow does a lot more than that. So, I'm going to put them all down there, and then we're going to take that out now rather than wait. See that as well. I just want to get rid of them missile launchers as soon as possible. Then put the smoke down to protect them. We can put minions down because there's no shock towers. You don't really want minions near shock towers, ideally. Okay, I need my jet. Take out that beam. Not quite in range yet. Now he is. Can take that out. The beams there are under construction, so we can take these cannons. These are uh, not cannons. Sorry, masters out. One down. And what I'm going to do is put the smoke down there. Put them in the middle there with a bit of a prowl. And then uh, it should be based down. And then we can just uh, simply fast forward. And um, base down. Uh, Alchemist Prime Core and Octet, any good? Um, not personally. I tried him for a while, but. Uh, because it doesn't do too much damage, then it doesn't heal a lot, basically, to be honest with you. Um, maybe a Rejuvenate or my Cronus, something like that. Uh, maybe not my Cronus because it does push off, but definitely Rejuvenate. The, the hard bit about Sandstorm is keeping him Arctone, is keeping him alive. That's the hard part. So whatever core you want to put on them, whether it's Onyx or whatever, to keep them alive... Then yeah, I'd uh, I'd personally go with that without a doubt. Yeah, Sharks, the Die King is one of the top players in the game. So yeah, he's got some crazy bots. <laughs> okay, so that's our walk team with attacks with that. Now I'm going to go with our um, clean-up crew. Go Prime Zone again. This is not quite as successful in Prime Zone uh, with current base designs. But we'll give it a go. Uh, is Quintus Core good on Cheetor? Uh, no, not really. Uh, the problem with the thing about Quintus Core is is that it's it's more geared towards health and uh, and distraction than damage. So it, I can get a Quintus Core up in a minute and show, show you what I mean. But uh, you better put it on a high health bot, without a doubt. Oh, it's actually a good bot, a good base for this actually. Thank 
And then we can use swoop over there. Just get rid of them and path them upwards. And then they path downwards anyway. <laughs> Cheers, swoop. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. You six gun there just to get rid of them a minute. The hard bit is going to be when the uh, bots pop out. When them outposts pop, it's going to be really interesting. Because that could literally make or break the attack. Could do with two mobility points now, actually. Just to get Dinobot there, but Dinobot's going to die. And I think we're going to lose this one. Just too much at the top there. Just a bit too much. And down. Sad to say. Don't forget we had no healers in there as well. So, no healers, no Micronus, no nothing. But yeah, come victory. We've got to give him at least one, haven't we? And then we've got my uh, Invincible Rush team that I've been working on. So this one's still in a bit of a, a prototype sort of uh, stage. Still some of the low-level bots, but uh, yeah. Give it a month or so, and yeah, it should be a decent squad. And there we go. Do, 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 do. We'll give it a go in Prime Zone. What's the worst that can happen? Always take protection kits. <laughs> it just doesn't suit our team because there's a lot of rush bots, a lot of distance bots. It just doesn't really suit it, sadly. Uh, Raymond Gastello, yo, what's up? Welcome to the stream. I'm in the back end of the stream now. Okay. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Trying to think. Have we got on tactical? No, no tactical on Prime. So I think we're going to have to... Uh, I don't think we up there. We'll soon find out. Maybe. We need Prime to reach up there, really. And there we go. He's got up there. There, get a cheetah on the HQ. And that should be based down. There we go. Not too bad. Didn't quite go to plan. But uh yeah, Shark Fest.
Face down. So, two out of three attacks, not too bad, like I said. As I said before, though, the cleanup crew attack is quite hard against some def some bases. can be impressive against some and not against others. The more it's spaced out, the generally harder it can be. But, uh, yeah, you definitely need uh, some stronger tanks or healers. The way I sort of do it now is put Star Saber and Goldfire in, do the damage, and then generally do a walk. That's how I've sort of started doing it, but I find that I'm using it less and less. Walking more and more bases and rushing more and more bases. So, yeah, definitely rush and walk are the, uh, the meta, so to speak. And, yeah, I agree, Trevor. Uh, in that uh, in that team, I don't think I've got Blaster in there. Trevor, if you've uh, if you missed it, you missed light speed. You spent the first half an hour or so, yeah. Um, so yeah, we've got Blaster in that team. So yeah, I have got all my best bots in that. We've subbed some out, we've swapped some out. That is generally my walk team. That is generally my rush team. But there is some bots missing out of that cleanup crew. Uh, my cleanup crew is generally about twenty nine k team. So, uh, yeah, a huge drop from 29k to 25k, but it's still doable, that team. Still doable. Uh, what time we're going? We're going to do some bits and bobs and then get off maybe the next 15 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. All depends if someone wants to see something or not. <laughs> uh, is blood leveling and what abilities should I take it to? Well, uh, the ability increase is purely damage and is hollow, which is not the most important thing. Um, so, yeah, the damage. But um, Rook is a staple uh, part of my walk team. Definitely a war team bot. Great popping outposts. Really, really good. Um, maybe, what, maybe, if not V, or one of the best tanks in the game for walks. So definitely worth leveling. Uh, if you've got a walk team of gunners, jets, peelers, tracks, definitely worth leveling. Definitely. Ten dollars if you take more. <laughs> uh, so yeah, talk about Quintus. Someone asked a question about Quintus. So where's the uh, combiner lab? Uh, not combiner, sorry. Well. I'll Staying away from Kanban a lot, but I can't take a look at it on this one now. Uh, da, 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 da. where I'm looking, prime course. I couldn't find it for a minute. There we go. Um, so Quintus. So the point about Quintus is, um, that each time a building or outpost destroyed creates a shark's con with 17% of your health and damage. So just keep that in mind. That it's, Let's call it 20%. Let's say we've got it near to max or maxed out and it's 20%. Just to round the figure up. And we'll go for a few bots. And you'll see why I said it's better geared towards higher health bots. So let's talk about Cheeto. So 20%. So 20% of his damage, that's a fifth. So it's 100 DPS. And 20% of his health is about 3k. So 3,000 health and 100 DPS, if you put it on Cheeto. 3,000 health, 100 DPS. Put it on Blaster, then you are looking at a fifth. So you're looking at you're looking at 60 DPS, so half the DPS, but still, it's still not great DPS, but it's 100 or 60. Um, but fifth of that means it now has 5,500 health. So almost double the health, so half the damage. But double the health. But what you'll find is, is a shark's gun that has 3,000 health will die a lot quicker than a shark's gun with 5,000 health. So, yeah. And like I said, I personally don't use shark's guns for damage. I personally use them for distraction. So, cannons, turrets, beam lasers, all single point defenses will get distracted by shark's guns and minions. So, that's generally how I use them, rather than using them for, um, for actual damage, so to speak. 
But yeah, we can go along. Like I said, if you want to use on links, so links, you're looking at about 80 DPS. And health wise, you're looking at around 3,000 again. So yeah, again, um, okay health, but not great DPS, but not a big change. And, you know, you're talking the diff the difference between DPS between 60 to 100, so only 40 DPS difference between a high DPS bot and a low DPS bot. In terms of uh, health, you're talking two or 3,000 in health difference. So a huge difference in health, but not a big difference in DPS, putting it on a high DPS bot itself. So, yeah, I definitely would, I definitely would myself put on a high health bot um, rather than a high damage bot inside the Quintus. But, yeah. There's no, no real right and wrong answer, like I said, but some people might, might prefer it for damage to get through bases quicker, then, yeah, you don't really want health. But like I said, they, they are going to die a bit quicker. So it depends. It all depends how you're going to use it. So anyone else got any questions in the chat about anything? Trying to think. Any more updates or something? So, yeah, I did want to show... Um, I did want to show. So, uh, Volcanicus does 2,370 damage. So, that is one level short of taking out Billbox. If, um, yeah, I got him at one more level, then yeah, he could take out Billbox with his ability. And generally, if two are close together, then yeah. He'll take them out. So if you have got a level 13 Volcanicus, keep in mind that that will take out Billbots and also reduce the health of the defences as well. So, um, yeah, Volcanicus would be, you know, one of the best combiners in the game for in terms of taking Billbots and uh, in Prime League or in hard mode now, I should say, in hard mode. So, yeah. So, definitely. Steve, it's nice to put a YouTube name to the account. <laughs> uh, did I read about the fact that Skywarp has a wrong body? I did see something in the uh, Discord chat uh, about that. I've not seen it personally. But, um, yeah. I did... Uh, I did see that in Discord. I did. So don't forget, guys, that we do have a Discord channel. Uh, lots of good information in there. All the latest news goes in there. The newsletter goes in there. All my videos are there. Uh, we have an idea section, like I said, where you can put your ideas forwards. And if it's a good idea, I'll put it forward to the apes. Uh, if it's not a good idea, I just won't. <laughs> Plain and simple. Uh, you know, you've got to be realistic, though. You know, I think I've seen, not in my server, but you see sometimes people saying, why not give a free five-star out? It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen, guys. You, they're not going to give free five stars out until the game dies. And then that's generally what they do. At the end of the game, they just give everyone everything. They'll maybe make five stars, 100 shards each for the last few months. But until then, never say never, but they're not going to give a five star away like that. Definitely not. I'm going to do a five star event and go, here you go, here's a five star. It's not going to happen, guys. So be realistic with your ideas. You know, if you're going to put in there, Double star stables damage. It ain't going to happen. You know, be realistic with your ideas. But yeah, any good ideas, if there's something that pops up in terms of play testing or if it's just general idea about something in game, then I'll always pass it on. And it's a good truth that I do. Um, and as Grand Galvatron can contest the new part, you know, it was for Blur. That was a general idea that it goes into the donut. And, you know, that's come to fruition, you know, in light speed. Maybe a bit different than what, you know, what they expected in terms of maybe not damage. Because I actually suggested it go around and do damage like swoop. That was my idea. So doing a couple of donuts, damage like swoop and return. But Space 8 were very much saying that they didn't want a damage bot. They wanted a support bot. So, yeah. Uh, think your ideas would work? Well, I generally check in every few days on any ideas. 
Um, generally, some ideas do, some ideas don't. But obviously, when you plant that seed and I think about that idea, I go, well, that's a good idea, actually. And if something comes up in the play tests, I go, well, actually, I remember an idea that someone put forward. Can we try this? So, you know, the more ideas we get, you know, it can be zany. Some of them, I might think, that's a bit zany. But if we water it down a bit or change it a bit, then that could work. And I generally do that sometimes. If it's an idea that's that's close, it might not be the finished product. It might be a bit overpowered, might be a bit underpowered. And I'll say, well, that's a bit overpowered to fair, but you could do this. You know, we pass it on. Well, yeah. Uh, Ultraman should get some love. Well, there's some people that swear by Ultra Magnus, but I think Percy just needs some cause to change his um, change his range. My my biggest issue with Ultra Magnus is two things. One is pathing, and that's because he's a range bot. So because of the range bot, his pathing is all over the show. Let's be honest, it is. And other things is damage from ability because his, his damage is too random and. Lots of bots all like that. Sunstreak is the same. It's far too random, the damage. So they'd need to um they'd need to um you know improve a few bots' abilities in that sense. And you know, those that have played the game a while back, quite a while back, remember that Sunstreaker actually did exact damage to target uh, over time, just like Jazz, but over time rather than direct. And that was why there was a reducing cost compared to Jazz, plain and simple. Um, but yeah. I think it needs to be constant damage. Uh, we also talked in the playtest chat about reducing skydives costs. Now, don't forget, guys, these aren't necessarily going to happen. I'm just telling you things that we've suggested. You know, skydive needs a cost reduce. Sandstorm needs a cost reduce. I'm trying to think of any other bots in there. We talked about RC uh, and improving her uh, in line with Rook. So we did say not giving the, the hollow damage because Rook, we don't want it too similar to Rook, but we did suggest maybe giving it an EMP or actually just giving the hollow actual damage. So a few options, but yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm, we have said in the combat, in the combat chat, in the uh, playtest chat as well, that there's, there's far too many combat bots at the minute that are geared towards... Um, gunners and geared towards jets right now and I think we need to sort of go away from that and look at more support uh, combat bots so maybe a combat bot and you equip it and it gives that bot some sort of shield or something or protection against something I don't know like I said but if it stacks with other cores then it could be really good but um, I also suggested having a heel beam that you could. Uh, this is my big one. This, I think, it's a really good idea is being able to attach a heel beam to any bot. So you could make Cheetah a healer, you lose his DPS, the only heal for half of whatever the DPS is for argument's sakes. But you've got a healer where you've got a damage ability. So rather than having Ratchet where he has a heal bomb. You could have an underpowered ratchet, say, and that underpowered ratchet would then do damage instead. You know, why not put a heel beam on Star Saber? Heel beam on Elita. I don't know, whoever. You know, but I think that really mix things up. It's changing the way bots behave. I think that's the key, really. And it might be slightly overpowered, but I think it'd have a huge impact on the game. It'd really switch things up. And you know, but you can't, you obviously got to offset that. You can't give them the same healing a healer would because then, let's, let's be honest, that's what they've done with gunners. They gave jets exactly the same as what gunners can do with more DPS and better range. It killed gunners, let's be honest, pretty much. So, you don't want to kill healers. So, you what you need is an offset where actually you can do that to any bot, but you'd have half the healing. You know, so you've got half a healer in there. So you'd need two healers, maybe instead of one. But having two healers, you could have Cheeto and Slashes your healers. And all of a sudden then, you've got two abilities you can use as well. But then also, as well, you've got to think that eventually they're going to go off ahead with their abilities and your healers are in danger. So, yeah, you know, it's much more strategic. 
so to speak. But um, that's my big idea that uh, that I'm pushing forwards at the minute in terms of a combat bot, and we'll see where we go. But we've all, we've all said that Star Saber needs a combat bot. Drift needs a combat bot. Come on, I know they're avoiding it because it's a huge job. But, you know, it's about time now that those sort of bots got a combat bot. And again, it's a big issue. They've got to totally redesign the bot, so to speak. But, you know, the two, it's the rest of Star Saber. It's quite an important bot in the game. Maybe not as important as it used to be, but, you know, it's useful. And uh, Drift's still a good bot as well. And it's just a shame that, you know, they can't really equip many combat bots. And um, there's so many combat bots geared towards gunners. I mean, to give you an idea, let's have a look. So, to give you an idea, Goldfire. So, Goldfire has three, only three bots that it can equip. You know, that's it. You know. But then you look at Prowl. And then you've got everyone, pretty much. Chattery, one, two, three, four, five, six combat bots for Gunners. You know? So they need to make some combat bots that can't be equipped on Gunners, but only be equipped on Warriors and maybe combat bots for healers. But I think they've done Gunners now. They've done Gunners to death. We know, we've got enough for Gunners now. We've got enough choice. So let's let's leave Gunners alone. Let's leave Jets alone. Let's leave them sort of attacks done now and concentrate on Warriors. Um, yeah, generally Warriors and Healers. I think they really need a concentration, really. All right, well, that's it for today's stream, guys. Uh, appreciate everyone tuning in. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll probably be doing a stream on Sunday. And we'll uh, we'll cover light speed a bit more, hopefully with a few bits of improvements, maybe here and there, hopefully. And um, yeah, we could talk a bit more about him then. And then I think we'll be pulling some crystals on Sunday as well. The event should be over by Sunday, so we can pull our light speed crystals. See if we get light speed. See if we get them five star crystals. Won't pull them yet. I'm strictly saving those crystals for stream one hundred, hopefully. Hopefully the new batch is out by then. But that's only four streams away. Only four streams away. Go to 95. Five, sorry. Five streams away. I can't count. But yeah, only five streams away. So if we're doing one on Sunday, it's only four weeks away. We're looking at the new batch. So it's coming soon. It is it's a nice way. And uh, personally, I can't wait to see using it. Right. Well, honestly, thanks everyone for watching. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So please subscribe. You haven't subscribed already. We're trying to get to that uh, big 2,000 mark, but uh, we can't get it without your help. And uh, if you want to join the Discord server, you've seen a few links being posted by the mods. Uh, come and check it out. Throw a message or just join automatically. Throw a message saying you want to join. I can add you in. And, uh, yeah, come and check it out. Some really good guys, some good advice, good place of information. And, yeah, it's a cool place to hang out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.